Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest and we're gonna find rate when we're given time in months. So take a moment, read the problem, and then we'll solve it together. So pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready to work together. All right, so Noah invests how much? $840. So we know right away that P is $840. And you know, I'm gonna leave out that dollar sign. I just write 840. That's our principal amount. That looks that I don't know what's going on with my eight over there. Let's fix that. All right, eight hundred and forty dollars. There we go. And it's in a simple interest account, so that means the interest is only applied to the principal for 21 months. So we want our time in years, not months. So we're going to take time and we're going to do uh, the amount of months. And we're going to divide that by 12. That tells how many years there are, because there are 12 months in a year. So this is our time, 21 over 12 years, that, that we're investing this money. And we want to know, what do we want to know? We want to know what interest rate. So we want to know the R value. What is R? What does it have to equal? Uh, must the account pay? So must the account give? So that there is how much? Let's see. 11 uh, no, green, I want a color code. Green is for things we're trying to find. Yellow is for what we know. This is our future value. And that's what we want to be in the account after 20, uh, 21 months or 21 over 12 years. All right, so round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. So we need to find the interest that we're getting in this account. And that's gonna be the future value minus the uh, principal, right? So we're doing future value 1122 minus principal 840. So that tells us how much money are we actually getting in the account over those years? What is that total interest? So let's solve that on a calculator. So we're going to do um, 1122, 1122.24 minus 840, and this is our interest, 282.24. 282.24, so we have almost $300 of interest. What rate would get us there, right? So we know that the simple interest is the principal times the rate times the time, but we wanna get the rate, that's what we're trying to find here, that's our missing information. So let's get rid of this P and the T. Well, we're multiplying by a P and a T, so to get rid of that, we divide by a P and a T. We divide on both sides, and Assuming P times T is not zero, we'll have no problems here. We just divide by themselves, and that's just one. And then we're, we have this equation, R equals I over P times T. So we're gonna rewrite that in a way that's a little bit easier to read. So I'll put this double arrow saying that this equation is true, if and only if this one's true. Rate equals the interest amount over P times T. And now it's just a matter of plugging in our information. We know now that the interest is 282.24, 282.24, so I'm gonna write that, 282.24, and we're dividing by principal times time. Principal is 840, times the time in years, I'll just write 21 over 12, I'm not gonna evaluate that decimal, I'll leave it as a fraction, and now that's our rate, and we wanna to get to the nearest tenth of a percent. So this will give us a rate as a decimal, we're gonna actually find, um, I'll write it this way. We're gonna do the rate, time, whatever rate we get here, times 100, and then we're gonna round that to the nearest, whatever that number gets us to the nearest uh, tenth of a percent. So let's use the calculator. So we have 282.24 already entered. So we're gonna divide 282.24, I could have just hit enter, but divide it by 840 times 21 over 12. So you wanna do that product first, so enclose it in your parentheses, 840 times, and you could just do another set of parentheses, 21 over 12. You don't need that second set of parentheses, it'll still get you the same answer, but it helps me organize when I look at my work to check it. Oh yeah, this is a fraction, 21 over 12. Hit enter, and I get 0.192. So that's our interest rate as a decimal, but we wanna turn it into a percent and multiply by 100. So notice you don't even need to write that decimal down. You might get a really long unfriendly decimal. Just leave it in the calculator and press times 100 to convert it to your percent of 19.2%.
So that's our interest rate right there, and we don't need the percent sign on Delta Math. All right, I hope that helped.